channel. I am Thelma. Today I will show you how to cook chicken gizzard. I heard that in many countries uh, people don't eat chicken gizzard but we love eating them and I will show you how to make it edible. Okay, let's start cooking. Before we continue, please don't forget to click the subscribe button below. It's just right there and it's free to subscribe. For this dish, we're gonna need chicken gizzard, of course, and then onion, garlic, tomatoes, lime, and ginger. Now I will chop tomato into thin slices and I will peel off ginger and garlic and I'm gonna chop onion into small pieces. For ginger and garlic, I will pound them and make it a paste. Look at me! See? Tears! Tears! <laughs> it's not because I'm sad. <laughs> it's because of onion. <laughs> I'm still cooking. But I heard that Tom wake up. Let's go and check him. Hey baby, you wake up? You wake up? Aww. Oh, you want me to come? You want me to sit here? Ah. And then what you gonna do? You want me to stay here? I'm still cooking. I'm still cooking, yay! What do you want to do? Come here! Come here! Shall we go and cook? Shall we go and cook? Kiss, kiss! Kiss mommy! Who's Let's eat breakfast first, okay? Okay, let's go! Tom is eating breakfast and stay with daddy so I can continue cooking. Now I got ginger and garlic paste. And I will make lime set. It supports heart, reduce risk of asthma, promote healthy skin, and also good for hypertension. And then I will cut gizzard into bite-sized pieces. I'm done with the preparation, so let's start cooking. I will preheat the wok first. When it is hot, I will put two spoons of oil. And when the oil is hot, I will add onion. And I will fry it until they are soft or until they smell nice. You need to keep stirring like this, you know, so it will prevent from burning. Now I will add ginger and garlic paste and fry them together until they cook well. Okay, let's add turmeric powder and fry them again. I will add tomato slices and fry it until those tomato are soft. Alright, look at this guys, they are soft now and it combined all together. Now I will sprinkle some chili powder. 
and a little bit of salt. And one spoon of fish sauce. I will stir it like this and you also need to stir it continuously like this because it will prevent from sticking at the bottom. And in this kind of dish, it takes time to make the gravy and you need to be patient. I will add one more spoon of fish sauce because I haven't marinated the dessert yet earlier. It's time to add gizzard and stir it. It's time to add water and stir it a bit and leave it for like 20 minutes. I won't cook this for a very long time because I don't want the dessert to be so soft. I want it to be a little bit chewy. After 20 minutes, look at this guys, it's beautiful. Before I try it, I will separate some for Boda's lunch. We serve Boda's lunch every day before we eat. Now I will put some for me. I'm so excited to try it. How about you guys? See? Looks yummy, right? Now I will add lime zest on top for the decoration. As I mentioned earlier, you can eat that too. It's good for your health. Look at this guys. It looks beautiful, right? Thank you so much for watching our video. I hope you like it. See you next time.